It's not as simple as did I try hard. If I didn't have regular housing or food, I didn't have lighting in my home to do homework at night, and my peer has regular housing, regular food, has supportive parents who've gone through college who can help them with their homework, if both of us children are trying really hard, working our butts off, you're gonna have different results just based on what kind of resources we have. My name's Eden Silva Quinto. I am about to start my third year in law school at UCLA. And um, I've been happy to continue doing a lot of the work before I came back to do my, my master's in law school. Um, I identify as a cultural worker, so that means that the work I do is meant to transform culture, and I do it a lot through like theater, through music, through movement, through dialogue, through popular education, and I identify as an educator. So how do we facilitate conversations, interactions, to work on ourselves and work with each other, and then as an organizer. So all of this work we're doing to shift culture and to learn is because we're trying to like transform our reality. I think I've been working hard to really like embrace the idea that um, in my mind things aren't necessarily set and that we do have a degree of role and power. We do have power in our lives, you know, and to, I love that and I can tell that I have that power. And, and I know a lot of my folks are not, the folks who are locked up or who, um, who, are, who are their lives are taken from them at a young age or who certain abilities have been denied to them, you know what I mean? Um, or certain traumas hit them in a way where they aren't as free or even mobile. Um, I like noticing that I, I, I have that ability and like feeling good about doing something with that. I love that I get to make, I get to be very transparent and show model that I'm always learning as well. So to me that really disrupts any banking method, top down hierarchy of learning and knowledge um, that when I'm facilitating or if I'm doing a theater piece, I get to show why I'm weak, why, I'm, why I need to grow. Um, and I think that's important because to me, that shifts expectations and limitations around uh, what we're able to do and what we're supposed to do when we're in leadership positions, right? Like if I can show my vulnerabilities, if I can be very clear that I'm not good at this yet, you know, or I have issues in this way, um, yet I'm still doing that work and I'm still growing, then I think that's more inviting to folks to join that work and, and it's more accessible as opposed to, if you're gonna do this, this is how, and if you don't do this, you can't be part of, you know what I mean? Um, it's just more open. To me, student agency is bringing us back to a collective model of learning, um, a popular education model where that says that everyone actually has knowledge and we just need to hear from each other and then do something with that knowledge, as opposed to, banking method of you come to school, you learn something and throw it up. So, so because students are learners and they're doing things and they're doing things together, um, it just sh it shifts hierarchy because you are interdependent. You're working together to do something. You're learning from each other to do something. And while you're doing that, you're actually doing something. <laughs> you know, that, that's what I, in the most basic way, that's what I hope. That's what I've, I've seen it mean and that's what I just want it to mean, something simple like that. There's all these ways of how we think and how we interact with each other that if we instill a lot of these basic skills and, and, and unlearn a lot of unhealthy habits like competition and um, it's, it's, we want to shift away from criminalizing, shift away from blaming and more like let's address what happened, let's give each other an opportunity to do better, you know? And I think the more we practice things like that, the more when people in their own families, how they discipline the children, uh, how they address issues at, in, in their youth school one day. Whatever skills and principles we learn as undergrads, I, I've seen into my own life and I've seen other folks bring that into their workplace because they had enough chance to practice it and had enough chance to feel really strongly about it.